Okay, everybody, uh, hi. This week's uh, healthy habit is water. And if we are going to make this really a life change instead of the quick results that quickly disappear, water is one of the habits that we're going to really work on developing into something that always happens. You know, not something that we have to force ourselves or we'll do it for a while, um, but we really want to become water drinkers. And why? Why do we want to do that? Um, water is great for so many things. It maintains muscle tone. It prevents the sagging skin, which especially is you're losing weight. That might be nice. Um, it increases your metabolic function. So we want, you know, our metabolisms to work as good as they can. Uh, it decreases appetite. It increases the fat you use for energy. Uh, it helps your liver. It, it, it does all these great things. Um, so obviously, long-term habit, we really want to work on developing. But at the same time, we may still be in the weight loss phase. And it's really, really important to drink your water during your weight loss phase because Water is what's flushing the toxins out of your system as you're in fat burning. Uh, when we stored that fat, uh, it stored toxins as well. You know, whatever was in the Cheetos or the soda that we were eating or drinking, um, it stored those toxins with the fat. And as we burn through the fat, we're releasing those toxins back into our body. And our body isn't stupid. It's not going to let us poison ourselves. So if we're not drinking enough water to flush those toxins, it's going to slow down or stop fat burning. Even if you're doing everything else perfect on plan. If you're not getting your water, you're not going to be seeing the results that you want. So what we aim for is around 100 ounces a day. Um, if you want to drink more than that, that's great. Uh, but 100 ounces is a pretty good guideline for everybody. And how do you know if you need water? Well, uh, some signs of dehydration are thirst. That's a good one. Uh, fatigue, headache, dry mouth. Uh, you're not going to the bathroom as much uh, muscle weakness, dizziness, or lightheadedness. And these are some things that people sometimes associate with hunger. Even feeling hungry a lot of times means you're thirsty. So try some water before you go ahead for that uh, extra optional snack. And if you notice that you're thirsty, you have waited too long. You need to work on, well, we need to work on, I need to work on drinking when we're not thirsty really building it into a habit. And that's what we're doing with this program, right? We're building habits of health that become so natural that we do them without thinking about them. So um, start by drinking a lot of water in the morning if you can. Try to space it out throughout the day after that and stop, you know, one or two hours before bedtime. You probably know why. And um, let's all go out there and drink some water.